Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad and uh, welcome to Rad Kutsarot and uh, this is going to be a uh, general tarot reading for the Aries this week covering up April, um, April 8th to April 14th, 2019 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling of, uh, of the cards I want to remind you uh, once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aries star sign and uh, for that reason the reading is going to uh, resonate and is going to relate to different things and as well is going to resonate once again in a different way with every single uh, different Aries but uh, if you do want a, a more personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a uh, its prediction for its future that is the subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing which is starting just from just as little as $12 for the uh, recorded reading services and $15 for the private call reading services so that being set aside, going to the uh, Aries uh, weekly tarot reading and the first card for Aries is uh, week, which is marking the topic there that is going to be the Queen of uh, Swords, followed by the second card, uh, which is the negative approach to all the situation here. We do have the death card. Then the third one, this is going to be the positive approach to all the situation. Uh, we do have the uh, Queen of Cups. And the last one, uh, that it is the uh, final outcome of growth, uh, which uh, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, is going to manifest. That will be the uh, the strength cards, just to uh, take off the volume of my computer here. Okay, so uh, once again, guys, we do have the Queen of Swords. Then it is the uh, Death card, which is the negative approach toward the Queen of Swords followed by the Queen of Wands, which is the positive approach toward the Queen of Swords. And then the last one that we do have, this is going to be the Strength card, that will be the final outcome of growth. So lovely. Okay, so uh, Aries is this week, it does look like that you are not to abandon a, a, a an endeavor of yours, if I may express myself that way, it is because something which looks like almost irreversibly bad in a sense of, you know, like it's going to uh, fail or it's going to end up in a very bad way. Uh, that person manifests itself, which is the Queen of Swords or rather like steps in presenting you not that much with opportunity but rather with a way how you can fix your situation should I say that way that could be your uh, therapist regarding your relationship you know you and your uh, wife or a husband are fighting way too much and that that in in such case the queen of swords could manifest itself as uh, your shrink, you know, as your couples therapist, or just as a, a very good friend of you both, you know, kind of like helping you to borrow, to borrow down the hatchets of uh, of war and to allow you to just basically work the things through. Same thing goes for a career um, as well, you know, maybe if, if you are facing difficulties into a project, almost ready to bail out on it, that person could truly make you uh, rethink, let's say, your strategy and as well the way how you are approaching the situation in general, helping you to foresee a, a way out, a, a breakthrough point or a breakthrough fulcrum and uh, truly making you capable to push the things through it, through into a, a more positive direction. That is a, a very emancipating woman, most likely a woman, it is a, a person, but like I said, most likely a woman, very assertive one, someone who is very in tune with the what is going on right now. Huge amounts of experience is what this person has, so they have boiled in the same kind of issues you are doing, uh, you are uh, boiling right now, and uh, for that reason, that person very well know what is essential and what has to be done in order one to basically immerse themselves uh, above the surface and to end up in a uh, in the upper hand with the situation uh, really the accompanied card of uh, the queen of swords here uh, that will be the tree of uh, the tree of wands so uh, uh, what this uh, person is going to convince you uh, ultimately is that you've thrown way too much effort into this endeavor just to walk away just to give up on it and as you 
uh, move on or uh, like uh, as you have as you obtain a better perspective should i say it that way or being objective for the situation itself through the eyes and the um and the council here of the queen of swords it is likely that you are to define for yourself a your very good established foundations kind of like you will recognize that you already have the foundations necessary in order to resolve your issue either into career or either into relationship and from there you as well are going to recognize the uh the challenge that needs to be overcome in order to uh improve your circumstances either career wise or relationship wise you know uh, if we're following the example you uh, of uh, you know being in a relationship and you are fighting way too much you know with your partner about around certain things with the appearance and manifestation of this person queen of swords you are likely to find out why you're arguing that much i mean what is the reason you know you together are um are fighting among each other which is severely impacting your relationship in a negative way that is in case you're experiencing such a, a standpoint and also through the help of this person you're going to find a, a way how to stop fighting basically to to find a common ground now should you take advantage of this way or not that is entirely up to you your preferences and your decision just because this person manifests and and it's it's ready to give you a, a sound advice or a counsel how to you can push your things through it doesn't mean that you're going to be willing to do so because it's going to take some efforts it's going to take some toils so the next card for you Aries, is uh, the negative approach toward the situation here that is going to be the death card manifestation so basically uh in this negative position the that points that things doesn't have to change at all i mean in their grand scheme of things change in a sense of you know being in a relationship and walking away being in a job and walking away working upon a project stop working upon a project they obviously has to change but in a more um generic level in a sense of you know changing for example behaviors into one relationship or changing strategies into one career and so on and so forth but the thing with the debt on a negative position is that the grand scheme of thing of things should not change i mean you should not deviate from the current part that you're walking meaning either into career either into relationship wanting to be with someone not wanting to be with someone and so on and so forth additionally to that the death card points that you're um how can I place it? Your performance, it's kind of, um, it's pretty much in tune with the situation itself. But uh, as the death is a watery card sitting on a negative position, maybe where you are way too exaggerated over it. And maybe you will have to be a little bit more um, conservative when it comes to performance, especially, uh, especially relationship wise. Let me tell you with an example what I mean here. Uh, for example, you want to uh you want to go somewhere with your uh with your boyfriend or with a, with your girlfriend it doesn't matter you know you want to go and travel somewhere and they are telling you that they cannot do that in the near future so you burst out you are kind of like putting an ultimatums how could they not do that if they if they were truly loving you they would have find a way and so on and so forth so this kind of extreme you know standpoint is what the death points here that putting on an ultimatums and uh, knowing that this is going to truly abuse your emotional state or your emotional attachment upon the situation same could happen into career uh, career wise as well basically the death card here once again is telling you that you should proceed with the current plan it is just you have to be a little bit more grounded and i don't know how to say it in the, in, in, the, in english but more milder when it comes to emotional expression the accompanied card of the death that is the um the emperor so the formation here what we do have is passive enemies and definitely we are seeing more structure than actually emotional representation of one of oneself when we're talking about structure and organi organization emotions has nothing to do with it the more emotional you are the more chaos one wreaks upon the world because one is doing things impulsively emotionally they don't do it meticulously and calculatively therefore no other but chaos sometimes it's good to have chaos around you but this time around no i mean if you want to save for example your situation regardless of what your situation is here structure and showing reliability is what is required 
a part, not a part, but uh, instead of showing impulsiveness and showing unyielding standpoints and unyielding, you know, or, or stubborn decision making. So uh, that leads us guys to the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation. And in this case, that is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups first asks you to uh, try to dive very deep into the human nature, meaning placing yourself into the other person's shoes, placing yourself into your supervisor's shoes, into your boss's shoes, for example, or into your co-worker's shoes, into your partner, husband or wife's shoes. And also having the eye for the distant future because what this card here points into a positive position is whatever uh, issues or disagreements, misunderstandings, problems in general you're do having right now in your situations, uh, in the relationships, into your career or into your private relationships are merely a trifles. And if you are more capable to attend your points to the overview, to the grand scheme of things rather than to these irritating minor details, you are to see that it ain't worth it. It's just, it's just these, these arguments and these problems you may are experiencing uh, throughout the week, they are meaningless for what is substantial for you for, throughout the life, uh, for, for, thro for your distant future, or for the, uh, for the successibility into your, uh, into your distant future. Additionally, the, uh, queen of, uh, the queen of cups asks you to, um, cherish the feelings of your heart and to follow them but feelings are different than emotions emotions is uh, emotion is something spontaneous feeling feeling is something you have it for a long prolonged period of time you can experience emotion of dread you can experience emotion of anger you know but feeling is something long term so if you love what my point here is is that if you love your husband for example just because your emotions right now are in anger that doesn't mean that you stopped loving them um like for good i would have said forever but just i remember that in english you say it for good in my language you say forever so that being said you have to be very in tune with your feelings but emotionally wise, you should not be impulsive because impulsive in this case means repulsive. And uh, this card also urges you to make long-term plans wherever you can, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well, which is actually something that is to consolidate your relationships and your, uh, and your career standpoints as well, displaying that you do have a, a long-term expectations from these fields from any kind of fields as well friendships friendship could be on the line here as well and that you are ready to go as far as it needs to in order to fulfill the feelings of your heart then uh, what we do have it is uh, the accompanied card queen of uh, wands the uh, formation here is passive enemies and it does look like the things are going to be serious and you should not look like a, a, a person who is prone to replace things in the sense of that, uh, for example, you do uh, have a fight with your, uh, with your wife and you should not make an impression that she's not the only one, uh, the only woman in the world. What I mean is that if you want to fix that relationship, in case you are going through bad relationship, it is that you should display that, they, that this person you are with, it is the only one for you. Or if you want to save your project, you should try to show and display that this project means everything for you and you have planned in the long term for it and so on and so forth, that these things should not be wasted. And that is going is to make this um, person we talked about at the start to appear, to manifest himself and to show you the right path, how you can push your things through, fix your relationship, improve your projects and in general, improve your circumstances in either of the fields that you are experiencing. And lastly, what we do have, it is the final outcome of growth and that is the uh, strength card. So the strength shows that at the end of the week, you are to persevere through this uh, problem solving time because it really looks like a problem solving time. And uh, up after that, a, a big enthusiasm, it is what is going to await you. So the perspectives are going to be very, very enthusiastic. Uh, moreover, you are going to find yourself very convinced or ultimately convinced in the righteousness of your goal. 
meaning no one will be able to stray you away from your right path afterwards. If you are determined to be with this man or with this woman, well, this is what you are going to be determined of. I none opinion it will be able to stray you of this determination. Additionally to that, the strength points that you will be on point with your emotions here, completely able to tame one's temper and one's emotions as well, being way, way more balanced. And as well, knowing that things can improve only through challenges. When you challenge something, this is how you improve yourself, the situation, your marriage, your projects, and so on and so forth. But you have to be very careful with the card because this is one of the two cards in Tarot deck, which points that whatever you forge at the end of the week as a result of this predicament solving time is going to be indestructible. You forge your relationship, while well, your relationship is going to be indestructible, meaning that probably even if you break up somewhere uh, in the far future and couple of years, in 10 years, in 20 years, you will always have a spot for this person in your heart. Same thing goes career-wise. So you got to be careful what you create from the enormous energy which forms from your problem-solving uh, drive here throughout the week, April, uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019. Additionally, to uh, the additional card here, that is the Seven of Pentacles, which uh, acts, uh, acts as a catalyst in the formation is active neutrals here. And it looks like that you will have a lot of room to fit in additional endeavors and additional, uh, how can I place it, undertakings as well, which are not going to have anything to do with, uh, with the current goal of yours or with the current agenda. Uh, in a sense of, you know, should I save my marriage or should I save my job and so on and so forth? Or am I, I am going to save my job or, or, or um, I am going to save my marriage. But these additional undertakings will allow you to have a, a very good addition of arsenal of income, either emotional income or emotional stabilizer, if I may express it that way. And as well, you know, kind of like a, a performance improvement, uh, in, improving enterprises as well. Uh, but the uh, on the grand scheme of things, the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card, it does point that you are going to be very... Um, I, I'm trying to find the right word here, guys, to express myself. Um, very cautious in a very good way when you approach a situations which could be anybody's guess. Meaning it is unlikely that you're going to be caught off guard regarding this problem solving thing and the results of it as well. And that you will be able to take a, a very good advantage of the surprises happening along the way, either good surprises or bad surprises as well. I mean, you will be able to traverse the bad surprises if not into a, a um, a succession, um, at least you are to diminish their negativity to its, uh, its bare minimum close to zero. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 8th to uh, April 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, as a general reading, uh, this uh, spread here or the reading itself is, go itself is going to uh, relate to uh, different things and will resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Aries. But if you do want a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to um, give you the, the, not the prediction, but what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for the recording services and $15 for the uh, private call services. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.